Hey guys, so, uh, you know, I didn't do a whole lot of driving after work, I was kind of tired, came back, didn't do a whole lot, so, I still have plenty of range left, and, uh, so, what I think I'm gonna do is, you know, it's 55 degrees, so not much, but, um, uh, I'm just gonna try and kill my battery range as much as I can, so, I'm gonna push the limits on this, the speed limits on the freeway, I'm gonna take a longer route in, I think it's about 30 miles, uh, it's a net elevation increase of about 400 feet. Um, like, like, as you can see, it's about 56 degrees. It's not raining, uh, but we do have a marine layer in, you know, and, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll also just, uh, turn up the heat and, uh, I'll, I'll splice in some, uh, you know, I'll splice in some B roll or whatever, but I'm, I'm going to, my goal is to see if I can maybe get the, uh, average kilowatt hours down to about, um, three miles per kilowatt hour, the average efficiency. See if I can do that. You know, clearly there's something wrong here. Oh yes, sport mode on. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll splice in the B-roll. Hopefully the camera will run long enough that, uh, you know, it'll catch me going up the most significant grade, which I forget, it's like a six or 7% grade for a couple of miles, so. And yeah, anyway, so enough intro and then then we'll see where we are so yeah just uh, hold ye old reset button oh uh, yeah so uh notice a little quirk it doesn't reset your average until you tell it to and actually you can do that here too on the energy screen uh you can just reset it and it'll give your new efficiency history so maybe we'll check this screen instead let's let's see what the data looks like from there as well all right, guys. All right, guys. First of all, I don't know how you do this. This is ridiculous. This was painful. I mean, that was terrible. Ugh. Anyway, so, I mean, it looks like uh, objective achieved. I was able to, uh, you know, I mean, it's raining a little bit too. So I, I was able to get the uh, the mileage down to about two you know, 2.4 miles per kilowatt hour. Um, but, you know, an interesting thing along the way, what happens is if you, if you chart this graph, which I think is pretty cool, um, you can see here, this was city driving until I got on the freeway. These two are actually mostly freeway driving. Um, and that's actually up an elevation uh, of about 300 feet, maybe 400 feet. Um, and... Uh, and then these two were actually what I ran into was a slowdown in traffic. So my average speed was only about 20, 25 miles an hour over that, over that course. And notice the, the energy consumption and the mileage actually drops. And then once I got out of the traffic, this wasn't so much of a, uh, of a, um, elevation change, but you know, the, the rain started picking up, but also the speed started picking up. So just from what I'm looking here, if you're driving at freeway speeds with the uh, um, climate control on max, and this is about a 15, you know, 15 degree Fahrenheit difference between maybe 20 degree uh, Fahrenheit difference between uh, um, outside temperature and cabin temperature. So if you're running your max um, heater on that, uh, you should still be able to get about three miles per kilowatt hour on freeway speeds, you know, about um, 65 to 70 miles an hour in these conditions, right? Uh, and and the reason for that and the reason the energy drops is the, the heater seems to be a static load of about six kilowatts. And then the rest of the load for the car is about one kilowatt. So when you're only going 20 miles an hour, you know, you're burning significantly more energy over time to go that distance. Whereas, you know, the the speed, yes, it increases your energy consumption, but you're actually traveling distance with that energy. You're not just using it to heat the cabin. Um, so, you know, just another data point. But but basically, that's sort of the the mileage that you can you can look to expect if you're running your heater um, full blast um, with about a 20 degree temperature difference. Uh, driving on the freeways, you should, you know, 65 to 70 miles an hour and 55 degree temperatures, you still 
should be able to get close to about 180 miles of range. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. You know, your mileage may vary.